No way. Friends on Snapchat? Liar. Don't don't drop my Snapchat name though. <laughs> Please. I think I have like the max amount of friends I can have on there. It depends on what kind of ring it was, you know? If it's a nice ring, maybe. If I had a boyfriend, I wouldn't be alone all the time. Like, be so for real. Not to like say that in a hostile way, but <laughs> if I had a boyfriend, y'all would know. <clears throat> I don't want a mean one. I don't just want anybody to be my boyfriend. I want like the perfect boyfriend. I did go to Bali. No? Oh, where? Do you mean where instead of when? Because the really, like, the really sexy boys that I see walking around, not boys, like, the men, like, I don't know, like, they're, like, tall and, like, dressed nice. You know how I act? I'm like, like, don't look at me, don't look at me. And then I walk really fast. So, zero confidence. I got zero riz. Israel? Ooh, I would love to go to Israel. I went to, when I did a yoga teacher training last year, I met a woman who was from Israel. Super nice lady. I would love to go to the Dead Sea because um, I love the salt and stuff like that. Like, I feel like, ooh, it'd be so, like, nice for my skin and stuff like that. But it's not on the list for this year. Why? You're adorable. I don't know. I just be existing. Not Sri Lanka. No, I'm going to Vietnam soon, though. I never want to go back to Bali unless I'm specifically flying into Bali to go to Lembongan. Because I would go back to Lem Lem. I, I feel like I say that wrong. Lembongan, the island that's like right next to Bali, where you can like go to the Manticoba. Sorry, I had breakfast just a minute ago. It's digesting. But yeah, I don't I don't like Bali itself. <sighs> Ooh, Seychelles. I haven't heard of that yet. Meet you in Vietnam. Yeah, come do the the high gang loop. That's what I'm that's what I'm gonna go do <clears throat> in Vietnam. I'm super excited about that. Phuket would be so cool. I've heard really good things about Phuket. I feel like it's beautiful. Do I speak Spanish? I know how to say like no habla espanol and mi amor. <laughs> But yeah, I'm super excited to do the, the thing. I'm going to Thailand in two weeks for a week. What do you recommend doing that's not too touristy? I'm well, I mean, what part of Thailand are you going to? Are you going to Bangkok or like Chiang Mai or like another part? Because like those are the two places that I am familiar with. <sighs> Which I, I love both, but like for different reasons. Like Bangkok was a little overwhelming for me because it's like such a big city. And like, I don't know, I wanted to go into the like the mall for like a very simple thing and i was just so overwhelmed i was like there's 18 stories like <clears throat> there are all these different escalators and stuff and like so many people and whoo it's it's a lot like i got very overwhelmed and i was like i just want to hold somebody's hand and like walk through here like not so like all alone do I know South America? Like, I know that it exists. <laughs> I haven't been there. I've been to the South of America. Um, <laughs> but not South America, no. D, yes. Thank you. I like these roses because there is no plastic. That's one thing I don't like about getting flowers in America is like boys think they're so cool, like getting you flowers, but it's like, I want, I want flowers that are not in plastic. <sighs> you can't dance. I mean, I have never tried to dance, so I don't know what the reasoning is behind that. I like Chiang Mai because it's like super walkable. Like I like to just like walk around and like look at stuff and 
they let me do that here. You know, like it's very little like people like pressing me to like get a scooter somewhere when I just want to like walk around and like experience. Also, I'm going to South Korea 